feel like I'm pushing your head out of there. Ah! <laughs> Where are we? We're in the pub in... Which, which pub is it? It's the Weatherspoons pub. It's the pub. Spoons, isn't it? Yeah, we're in the, in the Spoons. But it's a, it's a posh Spoons though, because it's in central London. Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> it's an expensive Spoons. It's an expensive Spoons. But what, what have we decided to do? We, oh, de <laughs> we decided that we need to do... Uh, uh, <laughs> we need to do the tram news from, from this week and talk about what's been happening in... Tramland. <laughs> this week in tram. This week in tram. I mean, how many, how many more utterly <laughs> unoriginal things can we come up with this week in tram? Um, so, what's been happening this week in tram? Actually, is, is it tram or is it this week in neo-fascism? Um, neo-fascist tramland. <laughs> neo-fascist tramland. Yeah. Uh, so this week we've had Sally Hines. <laughs> Sally Hines. <laughs> Oh, she's ridiculous. <laughs> what was it she said? Um, well, she was pushing her queer theory, uh, sex spectrum, gender. Sex spectrum? Yeah. Sex is on a spectrum. Sex is a, apparently, 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 we socially constructed it and it never existed. It's, it's, there's more than one size of penis. Um, yeah, I, I, it's, I don't really, don't, we just, we, it just doesn't exist. We've been making it up all this time, according to Sally. We like the little difference between male and female. Does she know where babies come from? Do you reckon? She has been unable to answer that question thus far. It has been posted to us several times on Twitter, but it seems to be quite a tricky. Maybe she needs to be cross-examined. Can we think of any barristers? <laughs> Can do this. <laughs> oh dear. And, uh, so Sally, Sally tweeted about her sex spectrum and. What um, her sex spectrum? Well, I mean, no one what else. What happens? Do you no, put, no do you put else, a prism there? No one in else it? has one. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and was rightfully criticised, and so had a tantrum, and has declared that they're having a break from Twitter. Oh, a break from Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know. So what else has happened this week? Um, well, why, why are we here today? Why are we here today? It's the big news, isn't it? It, it is. is the um, it is the acquittal of... Just hang on a second, dear listener. We're filming something. Sorry, I'm yeah. not worried about you talking. It's just that your conversation will end up on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and your children and your grandchildren and your parents will find out about it and have you told off. Battery, don't threaten me, off. don't you threaten me with that battery. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, so the news of the moment is the, um, so we've been to the High Court and Lord Justice Crusty, whatever his name, is. What his name is. Okay. I didn't, I wasn't allowed into the court, I just stood outside. It wasn't the High Court, it was Westminster Mags. Yeah. So Venice Allen and Lynn Bellos, um, the case was taken over by CPS who elected to um, discontinue the case. This is a case brought um, by um, Guliana Kendall against uh, Venice and Linda for... Um, Saying they would defend themselves if attacked, basically. Yes, yeah. And also, also, um, also crimes against his feelings, I think. I don't think he was a happy little bunny. Was, um, Mr. Kendall, was he? No, I, well, I don't think he is in life in general. No, uh, poor, poor, poor old Guliana. Um, maybe he would like some fucking flowers. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we send a fruit basket? A fruit basket? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a fruit basket. Uh, we shouldn't mock the afflicted. I mean, um, you know, seriously, this is... Um, it's, it's just a complete abuse of process. It's bullying. It's it's abusing the law to do something like this. Um, I mean, it is it's just completely fascist. But, yeah. Yeah. So Linda and Venice are now not being persecuted by these people. These people need to have some sort of restraining orders put against them because it's it's absolutely criminal to do something like this. It really is criminal. And you know, any woman is right to defend themselves against any man that is threatening them. And um, yeah. Right, then the, the stress that that put, that's, that's 
been put on Linda in Venice mm. just for saying they wouldn't let someone attack them is, is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. It's anyway, Venice is getting drunk in the corner over there, so... Yeah, she was, she was pretty, pretty <laughs> merry when I saw her. She got a bottle of champagne last time I saw her. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's great. Yeah, she seems, she seems pretty happy. Okay, what other batch shittery have our trans fans been up to? Okay, so we've done Sunny Hines, we've done... Like, what was the other thing? We said there was three things. Like, why, my brain is... Well, we've had, we've had a bunch of Twitter fans. When was Alex Sharp on? Alex Sharp, who wanted, you know, the, barrister, oh, the barrister the who can't argue. Women's Hour have been doing yeah. their thing, yeah. Uh, was Alex Sharp against Rosa Freeman? I can't remember. But yes, he might have been. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yes, it was, because uh, they had to be pre-recorded because they were terrified of going in the studio with the women. Yeah, fighting, um, you know, yeah. absolutely Even though they desperately need to be in women's spaces because that's where they would be safest, um, when you have a women's space, they can't go in it because they feel... Right. Maybe the idea is that what they will do is they will redefine women's spaces as their own so that women have to leave women's spaces. So we end up with trans spaces and non-trans spaces. Ooh, Peter Tatchell, women and, uh, what was it, um, trans women and non-trans non -trans women. Non-trans women, oh, yeah. Peter Tatchell, fuck off, will I know. you? Seriously, but I, man. I, but I think like that was him like, it shows the twattishness of this because that was him trying not to use the word cis because he knows everyone's going to like shout at him for saying cis. So he's gone for non-trans instead of cis, which is just as offensive. The word is women, and he doesn't. He, we don't need a modifier. I don't think. But he'll tell us that he's a feminist, and he'll also tell us that he spoke out against the violent assaults last year at Speaker's Corner. Yeah. You know, he did. I did speak out about it, but I went through his timeline, and he didn't say a bloody word about it. Oh, Peter Tatchell, you are a moral coward. Well, and he's also peddling the white feminism thing, isn't he, at the moment? But, uh, even, you know, which is ironic given that one of the women up in court today is definitely not a white feminist. <laughs> you know, like Linda Bellos is well known as a, someone who has fought for black rights as a black woman. Mm. So, so Peter Tatchell's full of shit. Of course he is, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, but then, you know, as he was in the 70s and 80s when he was affiliating himself with people that wanted uh, access to children. What was Alex Sharp on about? All I got was burble, burble, burble. I don't know what they're ever on about when they talk. I've got to be honest. <laughs> Alex Sharp. So it was a thing about it was the law, wasn't it? That Alex was doing. Yeah. <clears throat> Something like that. It wasn't very memorable, was it? No, no. no. It just shows. I'm trying to think now and I can't. It's probably just some, some nonsense about feelings and hmm. validation, I think. Okay. Oh, Let's... and Megan Murphy. Oh, Megan Murphy. Twitter bands, all the Twitter bands this week. Megan Turphy. Megan Turphy. Because you are not allowed to say a woman, uh, a man is not a woman. You must. A man cannot be a woman. Don't you ever can't say, say that. that. No. You can't say that. No. Twitter have gone a bit overboard, haven't they? I mean, they've, we've got this situation at the moment where they're banning people for misgendering and dead naming and all sorts of other stuff. I mean, it's, it's like, you know. I, for an organisation that was in, um, I mean, Jack Dorsey, he was in Congress, wasn't he? Mm. At, what, two months ago? Swearing blind that Twitter never banned people because of their political beliefs. On oath. And, uh, and here we are now, with people being banned from Twitter for their political beliefs. There's no other way of looking at it. That, that if misgendering is now, and dead naming is now a, against the rules and you can get banned for it, that's a having an opinion is against the law I mean you were taunting me earlier on forcing me <laughs> forcing me a, a, a threat of a malicious misgendering <laughs> to get out there and put myself on another Twitter account together so I did and how long was it before they locked it 30 seconds <laughs> it was the speed of fucking light it was also a good name as well you bastards give me my name back you might, you might be fine, we might, we might recover it, you never know. I think the thing that annoys me most about the Twitter thing is that then it's not even representative of the whole trans community, is it? So they have no. taken an ideological viewpoint of a tiny minority, of a tiny minority. An, ex an extremist yeah. viewpoint by a group of people, many of whom don't even live this life. Yeah. And what they're doing is they're suffocating the voices of those of us who are transsexual who think that transsexual does actually mean something. However, what that is, is 
you know, it's a moot point. I mean, I think really one can say is that one has had the surgery. So, you know, there is our material claim to being transsexual. I don't believe in, in um, female brains or anything like that. I have seen no scientific evidence about it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's not very good, is it? I mean, no. Megan Murphy, I think, was... Uh, her, her, her website is incredibly important because she allows, uh, she allows a real... A real diversity of thought on there, and some really, really strong, well thought out opinions with really, really good quality writing. And that her personal account has been targeted in this way and removed. I'm glad that the Feminist Current account is still working, which is great. Yeah. Um, but it really worries me that we have this political assault on the rights of women and uh, transsexuals and anyone else who disagrees with an ideology which, let's face it, has absolutely no material basis in fact. It's like, this is like the Spanish Inquisition. And it's not, but it's not just Twitter, is it? Because like WordPress have taken down. That's absolutely um, shocking, yeah, that's automatic. Yeah. They've changed stuff. Somebody had put, um, they were, well, Gallus, the Gallus Mag's uh, gender trender was taken down, which is, I think, one of the most important resources of feminist writing, and also as someone who is trans, I would have to say, reading what was put on Gender Trender has fashioned me in, as an individual and allowed me to have some sort of analysis over what I am, what I am, and the effect of what I am, or, or the effect of what I am has on the people that I interact with. Um, it has al allowed me to, it's allowed me a certain amount of personal freedom to recognise even myself for what I am. Also, the journalism that um, Gallus produced on that site was uniformly outstanding. Yeah. And then there was a thing, I don't know if you've seen it, um, because you also have been away from Twitter. Um, Always away from Twitter. Where the, the, trannies, the trannies don't like me, they're no, ringing, ringing their hands. Their, their, um, I can't remember if it was on WordPress, where they've been into someone's actual writing and have changed and have removed they redacted stuff yeah. that's been on that was on the fourth wave from our website and i saw something earlier on where um sean fay's name had been changed and the, uh, i believe a reference to something that he'd written about how he was a man that wears makeup and enjoys being a man that wears makeup oh, I'm so really we, with the article i've seen it yes yeah so we can't even talk we can't even talk about that I mean, this is the guy that went on television a couple of years ago arguing about trans kids and completely defamed Ken Zucker. Oh, yeah. The, it was a Newsnight interview, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's full of shit. Um, Sean Fay sent me a love letter a couple of years ago. He, was, he, used to, he used to go on Twitter and have a go at female journalists because, you know, what other target is a men's rights activist like Sean Fay going to go for than... Uh, female journalists. So he was there having a go at female journalists and I got into a bit of a ruckus with him about it. And he ended up sending me this love letter and is, it really is quite something. It's fucking hilarious. I'll find oh, it for you yeah. afterwards and yeah, I'll show I, you. I would like you, will, you will love it. He is, a, he is full of shit, seriously. It really disappoints me when gay men like him turn trans and become complete assholes. Mm. Oh, there was another one we were talking about earlier, wasn't there? So many to choose from. Mm. Anyway, what do you reckon? Oh, um, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, go on. Yeah, carry on. Who knows what's going to happen next week in in Tramland? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what it's going to bring us? Who knows what what delights will spring will spring from that Pandora's box? <laughs> Twitter will implode. I imagine. <laughs> yeah. like, it'll be a this time next week. Twitter will be a barren a barren, a barren space for just the the incels and the McTowers. Threatening to rape each other. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is at the moment, really, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah. But what I don't like, the thing I don't understand is once they've chased all the women off their platform, what will, what will they do on that platform? Because they only use it to abuse women. So it's very clever because what they do is that once they've changed the trade, no, 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 once they've chased actual women on the platform, the only <coughs> women that will be on Twitter will be trans women. So all of the in, all, all of the MGTOWs and the incels on there will have to go and um, go and send their lurid messages and tweets to the trans women, 
You see where this is going, can't you? <laughs> They'll be swapping dick pics with each other and other such stupid things. It's absolutely ridiculous. <coughs> so I wonder what's... I, I don't know what's going to happen next week because whatever happens... Whatever happens is always even more ludicrous than anything you could ever dream up. And you just always expect a kickback. And kind of a bit of me thinks today that the result in court will mean that well, there's bound to be some pushback because it's another it's another loss, isn't it? For another where they've been highlighted again as not being right or they haven't been vindicated today. So I suspect yes. that they will be I don't know something another lawsuit. They would be looking for revenge. Mm. Um, and there are a couple of them, along with Guliana, who seem to be um, throwing around lol suits like confetti. Like, um... Dr. Potato Head's friend. Yes. The, uh, Are we allowed to mention him? The lying lawyer. The laughing lawyer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you see that piece in, um, what was it called, Roll on Friday? Somebody absolutely lovingly crafted it that, that he identifies as a lawyer. <laughs> Apparently identifies as a golf player as well. Oh yes, with yes. It. well there's a there's now um there's a parody account, a lying low parody account. How come that's allowed and I'm not? I don't know. What do I say that is so bad? I think because you keep telling uh, men that they're men. <laughs> might be, <laughs> might be it. You like that thing I sent to um, trans philosopher, didn't you? <laughs> Is he kink shaming? Stop. <laughs> he was giving you such a hard time. He was giving you such a hard time, I couldn't resist it. If he's going to write a blog about how he used to wank off in nylons, I'm going to ask him if he used to wank off We're in gonna nylons. Talk about that. We're going to talk gonna, yeah. about it. People need to think about what they're putting out there about themselves. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh well, right. Should, should we sign off now? We should do, yeah. Well, it's goodbye from me. And, and goodbye from me. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to say it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from him. Goodbye <laughs> from him. I'm not like, you know. Goodbye from me and him. <laughs> no, goodbye from me and goodbye from Shim. <laughs> <laughs> My pronouns are her, bitch. Her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>